I'm uh, Jack J. Welcome to the Riot API guide. I'm not going to monetize this video or anything, but uh, I will just do a shout out to my own product, which is the Itero Drafting Coach. It's an artificial intelligence tool that can optimize your draft by telling you which of your champions are the best to pick. You can either get it at itero.gg or you can get a downloadable version which comes into game with you uh, at Overwolf. Just search Overwolf Itero Drafting Coach. Okay, I hope you enjoy the video. Welcome back to video three of the Riot API guide. Uh, the first video was uh, very much an introduction and we sent off our first request. The second one, we built on those requests and went deeper. We started with a summoner name. We then got the IDs associated to that summoner name. We got the most recent matches from that summoner account. Uh, and then we got some information about one of those, one of those matches. Now, I said I was going to build a loop uh, in this video, but actually uh, I completely forgot that there's something uh, very important that we have to do before we can start extracting information about uh, the particular account. And that is actually to work out uh, which of the participants you are. So if you remember last time, we've got this uh, list of 10, of 10 uh, participants information. So there's 10 um, dictionaries within, within this list. And each one contains information like which champion did they play, who did they kill, all that sort of stuff. So again, just a reminder from last time, we take the first one in that, and then we type in something like champion name, and we find out that they played Garen. The problem is we don't know of all of these different champions uh, who our summoner is, the one that we're actually searching for. Now, the way you do that is you go back to the metadata. And you remember that we have this list of participants. Now, the, the, the way this works is that this list is in the same order as the other list. So the list that you see these participants in here is the same order in which you'll find them in the list that contains information about the game. So what we can use is a little Python trick where, um, so we go back up and we find that uh, PUUID. Remember, that's uh, what we're looking for here. So that's that one. D-E-I-W-Q-H, and then we just look for it uh, here, D-I-W-Q-H. Uh, now there is a easier way of doing this, a Python way of doing it, which is you just type in index. Uh, sorry, we first need to assign it. So we do P-U-U-I-D is equal to this. The other way we can get it is by, if we start right in the beginning from the very first video, we have this player information and we can grab the PUU ID from there. I think it's the same thing, right? So that's the other way of doing it. Now, the way we do it is then go into this uh, participants list. So we open that up. I just, uh, I'm not gonna misspell it if I type it. And then we get that list. And what we do is we type in index and then type in and then put the PU ID. And that's basically going to tell us which index the ID is in. So remember in Python, you don't count one, two, three, you count zero, one, two, three. So we go with zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And as you can see, that is the same. So now we know um, the index. So we're just gonna type, give that a, a variable. So the, part, the participant index is seven. Now we can go back into info. We can go back into participants, which again, I won't try and spell. Uh, we get this list and this time we go five index. And that means that I now know that this information that I'm seeing in front of me is to do with the player that I'm searching for. So I can find out which champion I played that game. I can't remember Tristana. I can check if I won the game. Uh, I can't remember what the, it's at the bottom. Oh, it's win. Yeah, so it's false. I lost, awkward. But I can look at things like how many kills did I get? I could look at how many assists that I have, and I could look at how many deaths I had. And there you go, there's my KDA was kills 16, uh, four assists, which is 20, and then divided by the deaths of 13. So I had a KDA of 1.53, right? Pretty rubbish. Uh, so this is just a, a very short video to, uh, as I as I forgot to do it at the end of last time, uh, just to show you how you extract the information about the account that you're actually looking for. Uh, so with that done, I'll now actually go and do the loop in the next video.